what's up guys it's been a little bit since I've made a video but you know life happens and whatever so I had to come on and address this um, Roe versus Wade controversy that's going on um, so let's just get into it um, I don't even want to brush I don't even want to talk about the fact that this like decision has even been leaked because that's never happened in the, the history of the the, the Supreme Court, you know, nobody's done that before, so that's kind of fucked up, but I, you know, be, besides that, um, so basically what's going on is the Supreme Court is, seems to be deciding, it's not officially decided yet, but it's looking like it's going to be this way, that, um, the original Roe versus Wade ruling was incorrect, you know, it's not a really constitutional protected right, and so they send it back to the states to make that decision for themselves. You know, that, that makes sense to me, but a lot of people have an issue with it. Um, if you have an issue with it, if you're pro-abortion and you want to make sure you retain the right to, you know, your medical freedom, you know, quote unquote, you know, vote. You know, you get involved in your state and you make sure that your your legislators and your reg your representatives are doing what you guys think is right for your your state. Um, that's you know that it is what it is. But for me, I just want to give you my opinion on abortion in general. It, it's it's nothing new. It's nothing like I'm not going to say anything groundbreaking. But like I said, I just want to give you my opinion and so you can understand. Since 1973. Over 62 million abortions have been um, performed. To put that into like perspective, Canada has a population of, I think like around 34 million or something like that, or 33 or 35, somewhere around there. I looked it up earlier, but I'm driving, so I'm not gonna do that. But also, I know for sure Ukraine, they, their population is about 44 million. So. Do you think about that? 63 million people have been eliminated from this planet via abortion. Now, a lot of the pro-choice side likes to say that abortion is between a woman and her doctor and it doesn't affect anybody else. But when you look at those numbers, 63 million, almost 63, it's like 62 million uh, plus. You can't tell me that doesn't affect everybody because that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people who are not born. That's a, that changed the world completely. And what it has done is, in the beginning, you know, women wanted it as you know, right. And the, the slogan used to be "safe, legal, and rare," which okay, I can accept that maybe. I really don't, but you know, it's reasonable. Um, but then it became within the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years or whatever, now it's abortion, they want abortion on demand without restrictions. And in some places there are restrictions on how, like, what's the cutoff point um, when we don't allow abortions anymore. But we're, we have people pushing for abortion up to term, up to nine months. And people wanna say, oh, that never happens. But it does happen, however rare it, it happens. And so, because we keep pushing, the, we keep moving the goalposts further and further, now we have people actually talking about post-birth abortion. And I know that sounds insane, but it is. It's happening. There's, there's literally uh, someone, I think in California, they're trying to make it legal to, or maybe, I don't know exactly the terms, but basically what, from what I understand is, if a baby is neglected up to 10 days post-birth and dies because of it, it's not going to be a crime or whatever. That's sick. That is absolutely disgusting to me. Quite a few, like probably like three, four years ago, we had Governor Governor Ralph Northam. I, I can't remember what state. Is it West Virginia or somewhere over there east? Um, he, he was asked a question about post-birth abortion and he kind of gave this answer. He's talking about, well, we could deliver the baby and make it comfortable, and then the doctor will 
then have a conversation with the mom and decide what they want to do. This is like, I guess, maybe in the case of there being like some sort of medical issue and, you know, are we going to help this kid or are we going to let them die? That's crazy to me. That's disgusting. Especially if it's not like a lethal um, um, diagnosis. Like it's not, uh, it's just like maybe the baby has a deformity or it's going to have some special challenges that the mother gets to decide whether she wants to take on that responsibility or not. That's how fucked up we are as a society. That's how far it's come from safe, legal, and rare to um, possibly aborting or murdering already born children. So that's why I think abortion needs to be eliminated completely because it's being used as birth control. It's used to dehumanize, desensitize, and I understand the, the, the circumstances where people talk about um, babies born to a drug addict. The woman's just going to continue using drugs throughout her pregnancy. But you know what? Sometimes babies who are born to mothers who were addicted to drugs and shit, they're fine. And sometimes they do have medical conditions and issues, but are they going to totally destroy their quality of life? No. They might make things more difficult, but that does, doesn't like that doesn't mean that they should die. Um, abortions are be are offered to people who have kids with Down syndrome. Down syndrome is not lethal. It's not a it's not a terminal diagnosis. It's just do I want to deal with it? That that's where we are as a society. The people, the same people who will get upset with you for saying retard, are the same people who would willingly abort their child if they found out it had Down syndrome. This is a morality issue. We have a, like a society that just so detached from God and so detached from humanity that, you know, they, they are willing to consider these things totally normal. They consider abortion health care. I, I just, I, I just can't agree with that. I never will. My mom was a, a product of rape. Her mother was 13 years old when she gave birth to my mom. Thank God it was 1963, so abortion wasn't legal yet. It was 1962, excuse me. Thank God it was 1962 because it wasn't legal yet. And from what I understand from my mom's birth family, most likely my mom would have been aborted had it been 1973. <laughs> you know, my, gra my great-grandmother was not the mother of the year, that's for sure. So... I can, I can attest to the fact that I'm glad, like, I'm not glad my grandmother was raped. I'm not glad my grandmother had my mom when she was 13. That's horrible. And, you know, my grandma had a lot of mental health issues and dealt with a lot of crap until she, she died, you know. But, thankfully, my, my mom was able to be adopted. My mom was adopted and she was put in a great family. And although I understand that every kid has that, that story... A lot of kids end up in foster care and they have a hard life. But does that mean we should kill them? I don't think so. It's like I see this picture passed around every so often with this little girl in a filthy, nasty room on a bed with no sheets that's disgusting that I wouldn't let my dog lay on. But people use that child to say, this is why we need abortion. They look at a picture of a living child and use it to justify abortion. I just, I don't understand why in people's minds that that makes sense and that they think that's a good argument. Like, it's sick to me. It's really, it really bothers me. That, like I said, you'll look at a born child and say because their life is hard and they're in this horrible circumstance that they should, they'd be better off dead. Everybody goes through challenges in their lives. We're all gonna, we're all gonna go through heartbreaks. We're gonna go through um, traumas and stuff, but does that mean we should just be killed instead that we'd be better off I, I just I don't agree with that logic I think it's flawed and I think it's disgusting so Roe v. Wade being overturned does not end abortion it might make it harder because states can now restrict it or totally like ban it but you know what if you have a problem with that go to a state where they're for it because there, there are going to be blue states that will keep abortion rights um, available to people and that's your choice that's where you want to be you know go do it if you, 
And if you can't obtain your abortion, I think a lot of women are, this is just my, this is what I think might happen. When abortion gets restricted, a lot of women are going to be forced to carry their babies. And what they're going to realize is that they've been lied to. That pregnancy A isn't going to totally stop at your life. It's, you know, everybody's pregnancy is different. I get that. Um, some people have complications and it's harder than others. My pregnancy was great. I worked until I was 41 weeks pregnant in a factory, you know, doing pretty much all, all the things I always did, like lifting up heavy shit, like people yell at me for it. But I continued to do my job and, you know, I was fine. I had a little bit of um, morning sickness in the beginning, but it subsided. When, what I realized when I was pregnant is it wasn't as bad as everybody kind of makes it out to be. And then also what people realize when they, when, uh, if abortion is made illegal, they're going to find out that there's pregnancy help centers and they don't, they don't charge you anything. When you go to Planned Parenthood, you have to pay them money to, to have the ultrasound, to get the birth control, to get these things. Pregnancy help centers will give you those things for free. They'll walk you in there. They'll give you a free ultrasound. They'll give you resources. A lot of the times, they'll help pay rent. They'll help get transportation from others. So what we're gonna what we're gonna see, I I hope and I think I think this will be true, is that women are gonna realize that they've been lied to, and that there's so much help out there for them, and you know they're gonna be thankful. There's I don't I'm sure there are some, but I don't think there's a ton of women out there have their babies and think, damn, I wish I would have had an abortion. I know there's some sickos like that, but overwhelmingly, I believe that women, when they when they end up carrying these babies, they're going to be grateful and they're going to see the world differently. And also, when abortion is, if it's made illegal, people are going to be forced to be more careful. They're going to be, they're, they're going to be a little more calculated in their decision making. Like, I'm not willing to have a baby with this person. If I'm not willing to marry this person, maybe I shouldn't be sleeping with them. You know, it's going to force people to start critically thinking about their actions. And because of that, society will improve. People, could be, if you don't sleep around, if you start doing things the right way, you're going to be happier because you're not, you're not going through heartbreak. You're not getting screwed over. You're not dating psychos. I mean, all these things will still happen in some way, but if we are, if we limit ourselves and control or have better self-control, you know, everything will improve. Society kind of has this idea, like, you know, they're, they're kind of pushing this, um, this, like this open sexuality and like uh, permanent promiscuity. It's being like promoted and that's all all contributing to the degradation of our of our culture of our society that's why people don't love each other that's why people aren't getting married because we're out there doing doing dirt on each other and pretty soon everybody's jaded they're afraid um so many women when they when they uh leave a, a relationship they like to take everything they can from a man you know because of all those instances of people, like I said, people doing dirt, you know, it's it's screwing up it's screwing up society. So, abortion might seem like it's just an issue that affects one person, but like I said, it's like a disease. Like I've said this before about something else, like you know, immorality. It's like cancer, and, and like it spreads because the more we treat each other like dirt, you know, it's like a domino effect. Everybody just starts doing that to each other because that's all we know. So. I know it's probably rambling now at this point, but that's kind of, that's kind of just what I wanted to say about this. Um, you know, abortion. I think it's gross. If you've had one, I don't. I don't think you're a bad person. I definitely don't, because I understand why you believe it's good. I was pro-choice up until probably my early twenties. Um, after I sat in an abortion clinic, I took somebody to have an abortion, and I sat there and I supported them and. But it made, when I realized, like, I, I took in the situation, because you sit there for a long time. You're there for, like, six hours or something. I'm looking around the room at the types of people in there, young girls, older girls, 20-year-olds, um, you know, 
you really, it just kind of, I don't know if, if maybe, maybe it doesn't affect some people, but I, I, it changed my perspective on things because I'm like sitting here and we're watching craft shows and cooking shows while these girls are drugged up waiting to go have the procedure done. Like the, sh the shit was kind of, it, it grossed me out. And it's funny because the channel, the channel that we were watching was called Create, which is kind of ironic because I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me thinking that, but we're watching this craft show called this craft channel called create while girls are being drugged and they're aborting their children and after a while I think God really moved me he wanted me in that situation he wanted me to do that to take to support my friend so I could at least get a little bit of an inside perspective of what it's like in there so I you know I, I don't know I basically said what I wanted to say. What do you think about this decision? What are your thoughts on abortion? Um, do you think that maybe, do you think I'm a woman hater because, you know, I'm not for it? And I think that personal responsibility needs to be um, promoted more than, you know, abortion. Um, so, what do you think about this situation? What do you think, um, what do you think is going to happen? Are you expecting to see riots and protests? I think they are already beginning, to be honest. But um, yeah, so let's. I'd, I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, all that stuff. It really helps me out. And yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, that's my that's my two ten twenty cents. That was a lot of cents. But yeah, that's my perspective. That's my opinion. Like it or leave it. You know. Like I said before, I don't I don't think anyone's bad if they've gone through it, but I think you do need to do some soul searching and forgive yourself for it. When when we go when society lets stuff like this happen, it just degrades culture and it's really important that we pull the reins back to hopefully get society on a better trajectory. Because this trajectory where we are totally fine with destroying the most innocent among us our unborn children you know that's really scary and it's, it's gross and it's it's due to decades of conditioning decades of, of um, desensitizing us and I think people that's why we're pushing up pushing against it because we're it, the damage that it's done um, is so bad that I think people are really starting to with that being said, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. It really